Oh man. Did no homework today. Oh, great. It's currently the 16th, uh, Friday, so all we have is Friday, the weekend, Monday, and then Tuesday begins moving. Um, thinking tomorrow might be an off day for me. Uh, just for, not an off day from the vlogs, off day from like basketball and stuff because I uh, really needed to get my homework done, but I don't know, I, c I could wake, wake up early. Um, I'm running on six and a half hours of sleep right now. Went to bed at like 8.30 last night and woke up at about, or went to bed around 8, woke up around 2.30, but uh, tomorrow it is supposed to be 103 out, so that's why I'm saying might be an off day. I was thinking about going to the teen center because there was no, there's no playoff games on until Sunday. Sunday is when the Eastern Conference Finals start, and Monday is when the West starts. Uh, so Friday and Saturday are free days, and I was thinking about going to the teen center, but I don't know. Might just stay in and do my homework tomorrow. Um, but I could do it early and then go to the teen center. I know it's gonna be packed because it's hot tomorrow. Um, so. Yeah, but I am probably not going to go outside in that weather, because it is, it's really dangerous, 103 degrees, um, obviously don't want to risk any heat related injuries or anything like that, or die, so, yeah, but I guess I will go outside just to sit in it for like a minute, <sighs> well, yeah, I'm really tired right now. I really just want to go to bed and get my homework done in the morning. But, uh, it's a lot of homework. It's a lot of reading. It sucks, but, uh, I'm going to have to get past it and everything like that. Don't have much time. Uh, I think we check out of the house at 25th, 26th. So I'm going to take our internet away, so... Yeah, I'm gonna be needing to do stuff, get things done. Sour Patch Kids, delicious. I don't even know what I'm gonna do today or tomorrow. Yeah, homework is a big option. Not really an option. Kind of gotta do it. Survival mode now, but uh. Yeah, don't know why I always do that. I always wait till the last minute, and then I put a huge challenge on myself and a huge stress on myself. But it feels so good whenever everything's finally done. Uh, like algebra, I got a little taste of that. But uh, man, I gotta, I gotta finish all my homework, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I gotta. Don't. And then I have to uh, do all the homework that's due this Sunday and just get everything done and be ready to move. It's going to be a very stressful two weeks uh, for everyone and it's probably going to be uh, taking a little while or it's, I can't focus right now. I'm going to, I don't know, it's just going to be real stressful. Um, but once we finally do move, it'll be, uh, it'll be alright. We have, uh, 12 days, I think I have 11 days left of school work, like my finals close on the 28th, I think, so it's about 11 days, 12 days left, um, so then 28th through the 2nd should be pretty chill, and then, uh, the road trip, and everything should be smooth sailing from there. But, uh, I am extremely tired right now. Man, I have... I feel like I've gotten no sleep at all. It's crazy. Another news. The, uh... The series is now over. The KD jersey worked. What I mean by that is last time I wore my KD jersey, it was Game 7 against Memphis, and KD went 5 for 5 from 3. I wore it tonight, he goes 5 of 8 from 3. He started 1 for 7, 
finished a 12 for 23, which would mean he went 11 of 16, I think. So he only missed five shots uh, from the second quarter onward. That's crazy. <laughs> went off, scored 40. Westbrook was having a tough night. He scored like two points in the first half. And way into the third, he only had two points. And then all of a sudden explodes and finishes with about 20. So uh, that was that was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, got the win tonight. Ibaka might be injured. I really hope Ibaka is fine. I'll hear more about him tomorrow. But he's going to be he's gonna play a real pivotal role in this Spurs series because we're going to be facing the Spurs in the conference finals. And this is our uh, this is our second, no, our third conference finals since 2011. So our third conference finals in four playoffs. Um, so like, feels pretty good to me. I feel like the playoffs matchup wise for this team are getting easier and easier. Uh, I don't want to underestimate the Spurs because the Spurs are a totally different monster in the playoffs, much like the Heat. Uh, and Popovich is a great coach, but um, I don't know. Memphis, I feel like, was the hardest opponent, and the Clippers were easier than Memphis, obviously. And I say that because the Thunder meltdowns, you know, helped uh, fuel the Clippers in those wins. Um, so. I mean, the Thunder beat the Thunder a lot in this series, so that's why I feel like, you know, it was harder than the Grizzlies because the Grizzlies, like, they're the only team in the league, I think, that can shut down Russ and KD at the same time, which is crazy. Um, Spurs, KD's going to have problems with them, but Westbrook is just going to feast on it because obviously Tony Parker isn't as fast as he used to be. Um... He's 31 years old and hasn't really relied on athleticism his whole entire career. So, I don't know, we'll see where that goes. Uh, but Ibaka is going to be huge in this because Tony Parker likes to attack the rim and the Spurs like to also attack the rim, as in, like, they're big guys. And if you can hold them and Tony Parker, all you have to do is worry about their shooters. Obviously, you know they're going to kick it out. Just stay on, scraped on their shooters, and you know it should be pretty good. But it's going to be weird because the series starts on Monday in San Antonio. I almost said San Diego, um, and it's weird because I'm so used to home court advantage, and there's there's no home court advantage for us. Not till the finals. Uh, if we make the finals, then of course we'll get it because we have a better record than any of the top two Eastern teams that are in the conference finals right now. Pacers and Heat, which is obvious. Um, everyone knew it was going to be that from the beginning of the season. But, uh, yeah, it's that it was a pretty good night. I don't know, Thunder were down by 16 and ended up winning by 6 and led by as much as uh, 13, I think. So it's a very good comeback, and I'm proud of, proud of that team. And I actually think they just got back to OKC right now to the airport. Um, but... Yeah, Ibaka will get some rest, and uh, and uh, the Spurs will get less rest than they expected. So that's that's always nice. And uh, man, I am so tired right now. It's not even funny. <sighs> this is crazy. Yeah, the vlogs, uh, I'm going to make sure the vlogs come back out by Sunday. If I get the vlogs out by Sunday, we'll be smooth sailing because I won't be as busy. Um, maybe within homework breaks, I'll render the vlogs and try to upload them. But uh, don't expect any titles right away because I really do need to get on this homework. And uh, yeah, so... I have to do that and then I have to transfer all of the vlog files over to the MacBook so I can keep giving you guys vlogs over the summertime because that doesn't have an SD card slot nor does it have Final Cut so yeah just uh, just gotta do that and 
I guess we're good to go. And my AC is making weird noises for some reason. It's like beat on it or something. I don't know. Wonder if my dust filter is all messed up. Eh, it's kind of clean. Yeah, I don't know what's up. Let's see, is there another filter? Because that said front. I don't know if there's like a back air filter or where it's at. But it's making a bunch of noise for some reason. I don't know why. Oh well. I'm gonna go ahead and call it night because I am really tired and exhausted. I will see you guys tomorrow.